This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28 to 30. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. Are you tired? Worn out? burned out on religion come to me get away with me and you'll recover your life i'll show you how to take a real rest walk with me and work with me watch how i do it learn the unforced rhythms of grace i won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly the gospel of the lord reflections on the gospel according to st matthew chapter 11 verses 28 to 30 jesus addresses those who work hard and are burdened and promises rest he identifies him as one among them because he carries the burden of the cross in chapter 16 we would also read if anyone wants to follow me let him take up his cross and follow me the cross of jesus needs to be understood as his love for humanity he accepted the cross not as a punishment but as the ultimate expression of love the evangelist matthew cleverly distinguishes between the yoke of jesus and the yoke of the law a yoke is heavy painful piece of wood laid on an ox's shoulders to pull the cart's weight and keep it on track preventing it from straying away the rabbis presented the law of moses as a yoke which prevented israel from straying away from yahweh however as centuries passed the law became an instrument for the priests and scribes and pharisees to oppress the ordinary people thus the law became a burden through the words of jesus matthew is addressing his fellow jews who are crushed under the heavy burdens of the yoke of the mosaic law under them it was impossible not to put a foot wrong somewhere The law demanded scrupulous observation of the tiniest obligation. It is to these people that Jesus offers a lighter yoke. William Barclay suggests that it was pretty common to have double yokes when two animals pulled a vehicle together. Jesus is offering to share his yoke with us. He and I pull together. and he would share my burden with me jesus does not say that if we go to him we will have no more troubles no more pain no more disappointments there will be yokes to carry but jesus offers to carry them with us when doting parents so protect children that their every whim is answered and every negative feeling anticipated what do we end up with spoiled brats jesus will not spoil us in that way the challenges of life are necessary for us to grow and mature however they are easier to bear when he carries them with us when we know that we are never alone in our difficulties and sorrows to follow jesus is not to carry great weight but to experience a great sense of liberation If we have not found that experience yet then we are not yet carrying the yoke of Jesus